Hey everybody, this is Nick from Candleweld coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. Today we're going to be doing a quick video about our new spool gun. I'm going to go over some of the things that are included with the spool gun when you buy it. And then I'm also going to show you how to load up a spool of wire into this. Just in case you've never done it before, I want to show you how easy it is. Because this one is probably one of the simplest ones I've ever used. Uh, a few quick things about this before we get started. The whip on this comes in either a 10 or a 13 foot. This is a 200 amp spool gun and it's got nice lightweight design which I always found was really important with these things because I've been stuck using these on the job site a few times before and they get heavy by the end of the day especially when you have a brand new full five pounder on the back of it. It gets pretty heavy so whatever you can save in the body weight uh, is really nice. And they've done a few slick little things, like this is still really high durability plastic, but instead here, this is all aluminum, which really brings down the weight of the whole thing, which is pretty awesome. Like I said, if you're going to be using it all day, you're going to appreciate that. And there's also, they've added the spring down here in the bottom to help keep your line from kinking, which is uh, important as well. So we're going to go ahead, like I said, we're going to bring the camera in close. I'm going to show you guys how to load it. And we're going to run over these rollers. Okay, so here we got the spool gun. It's already got its tip here and it's already got a nozzle inside of it and these are our spares. So we got another one, another one of these, a whole bunch of these in different sizes from 030 to 045. Here we have our different styles of rollers. Now these are double sided rollers. So I got a 09V, flip it over, it's an 08V. Then I got an 09U, an, uh, an 08U, then an 08U, and a 1.0U. So that's all my different sizes covered for the standard spool gun sizes. So that's slick. We got all that. It comes in the package. We're ready to go. So now let's take a minute and open this up. Now to open it up, we're going to squeeze it here, pop it up. Now if I want to put some wire into it, I'm going to have to check if the roller that came inside is the size that I want. Today I'm going to be using 030 wire. So I'm going to go ahead, undo this little screw. And I'm going to take the roller out and make sure it's the one that I want. So this is a 0.8U and on the other side it's a 1.0U. So it's the opposite. So let's put it down because that is the right one I want. Now these have a little notch in them so you just rotate it till it drops back down. We'll lock this back down in position. So great, we got the right drive roller. Awesome. So let's go ahead and lift this up, open this up. We're going to take the tip off and we're going to check the tip we got. Okay, I got an 030 tip on there. That's what I want for my wire. Great. If not, I would go into the pack and find whatever size I need. So now we're going to hit this little rocker switch, open this up. Now that we got it all opened up, we're ready to put in some wire. But first I need to unscrew this. Take that off. I got my wire. I'm going to unhook it. Now usually you can see it's all kind of bent up here along here. That's not really going to help it feed good but all I really need to do today is just feed it into the other side so I'm not going to worry about it. But typically I would clip that off with a pair of pliers. Now when you put this in make sure you put it Make sure you keep your finger on it so the spool doesn't unwind, but also it's going to run from the bottom, not from the top. If you run it from the top, it's going to run funny and it's not going to work right. So what you want to do is slide your wire in here until I see it come through down there. There we go. You can see it coming through. Now I'm ready to sit this on here. Now that I got that in, I can go ahead and put this part back on. Try not to drop it like I did. There we go. Doesn't need to be super tight. Just make it snug. That's all you need. There's not an incredible amount of tension here. So just finger tight is fine. Close it up. Now I got my wire here. I would take a pair of pliers and just slide it into the sleeve there. Once I've slid that into the sleeve, I'm going to lock it down so the other roller has got it sandwiched. Put that up adjust my tension. Right now the tension's at max. So okay, nothing to do there. Close up the top, squeeze the trigger, and it's going to start feeding and it's going to run through. I won't have any problems because I know I got the right 030 tip. And that's it. That's all you got to do to load one of these things up. Pretty slick. I've used some more complex ones before and I really like how simple this one is. 
Uh, it was my first time doing it today, and I was able to do it no problem on the first try. Okay, everybody, that pretty much wraps it up for our video about this spool gun. I hope I was able to answer all your questions and you're feeling confident that you're going to be able to load it yourself. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a like and hit that subscription button if you want to stay tuned with our new products and the new videos that I'm going to put out. If you have any further technical questions about this, go ahead and hit us up on our website. You can check it out to read a full description of all the, uh, you know, the, the further details. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.